Now that you've got your three sections, you're going to split the three sections between both hands. Now, take your section from your right hand and you're going to take it under the middle section and then over the left hand section. Now, you're going to repeat that step, but before you repeat that step, you're going to add in here from both sides, as you can see on the video. So again, you've got your right hand section and then you've got your left hand section and you should have a middle one. You're going to take, grab in on the right side, add it to the section, and then you're going to take both of them under the middle section, as you can see in the video right now, and then you're taking it over the left hand section. Then again, repeat the steps, add it in here on the left side, and then you're adding it in here on the right side. Now, what is important here is to remember your tension and grip. At this part of the uh, Dutch braid, you're going to still continue to add in the hair on both sides, also remembering your tension and grip all the way down. Now you may need to get your client or doll's head to tilt the head forward to be able to get right in at the back of the neck. You don't want it to become loose. This is where it could end up sitting baggy. Now you could see me there, I'm just gently tightening the grip and making sure it's all secure. Coming to the end of the Dutch braid now, we're going to secure the Dutch braid with an elastic band. Make sure you don't do it too tight. After you do the elastic band, then you have a choice to make the Dutch braid chunkier. Now you could do this by putting some product on or putting the product on afterwards. All you're looking to do is really pull out the pleat at both sides and make it a wee bit chunkier. Some clients may not want this, but it's good to practice. 